All right, we're here in the Niner locker room with Niner long snapper Tabor Pepper, and uh, you guys were rolling, and now you've lost three in a row, and the vibe uh, seems the same in here. What's give me your perspective on what you guys need to get done this weekend? Um, you know, we got to come back, obviously, get a win, get back on the right track with everything. But you know, the feeling everybody came in Monday and yesterday, everybody, you know, vibes are up. Um, I think everybody just needed a rest, and, you know ready to go back out there. Last time we went to Jack Jacksonville, I don't know if you remember, we had like a, what was it, a 12-minute first drive, opening drive, yeah. something insane like that. So, um, you know, I'm on special teams, but hopefully we can get something like that going, dominate the run, and, you know, take it to them. What do you think it is uh, for the, for, you think it's more of a mental grind or a physical grind? I mean, it's football, so it's obviously a physical sport. I mean, it's both, and when you think about it, before we, heading into the bye week, well, when you take camp into consideration, we were we've been going for about 12, 13 weeks in a row, um, and that's just that's just a lot of football. Yeah. Um, we had that Thursday night game, and it's nice to have like four day weekend after that, um, with having a short week of preparation. Um, but that can really only go so far when you're in the middle of the season. But uh, I think having that full week off, guys, you know, going to whether it's like a vacation or going and seeing their families, just revitalize and come back with a good attitude. What'd you do? Would you, did you hang out here? Did you go travel a little bit? I went back to Michigan. I was able to catch Halloween with my family. Nice, so nice. That was a lot of fun. Uh, getting cold back there right now? Or? Yeah, um, the morning app. So November 1st, there was like a little light layer of snow on the ground. It'd be the coldest day here all year, probably. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah but People I be complaining. There. Just the nice crisp air. It was good to be back. Is that where you're from? or? Uh, yeah, I lived there since I was like 15. Nice. Mm -hmm. um, when you lose games, I mean, you know, anybody who cares about their job, it's like, oh, we gotta, I gotta watch more film. I gotta dig deeper. I gotta try harder. Can you overdo that a little bit? I mean, I'm sure you can. You don't want to get in your head too much. Yeah. Um, you know, that's kind of the approach that I take to like special, special teams, specialists in general. Is like you can't over do everything just go out there and kind of do the job that you know how to do yeah just jacksonville team's talented man they've won uh, i watched them about a month ago and they lost to houston and they looked bad in that game it was at home but they haven't lost since mm -hmm. they're playing pretty good ball and really all three phases what do they look like to you when you watch them on special teams uh special teams you know they got agnew back there who's yeah he's great return talented. guy um and you know they got a lot of good guys across the board on special teams um typically you know, some special teams guys are, you know, sitting at like a, a number two spot on the, the depth chart for different things. And, uh, you know, they got they got big bodies like on kickoff and punt and stuff like that. So it should be a fun matchup. Is it hard to leave the loss in the locker room and just get on with your ne you know, next day when you do lose a game? Mm -hmm. I mean, you win, you, you feel good, I'm sure. When you lose, there's probably a tendency to take it with you everywhere you go. Can, is it easy to compartmentalize and just kind of keep it here? Or, um, or I do can you dwell on the losses? I, I can guess. only speak on my experience. Yeah. And like I said, with special teams, it's kind of just letting the water run off your back and, you know, moving on. You know, it's, it's fine to be upset with it for a day but this season moves on too fast for you to be upset all week about it so you kind of got to move on to the next challenge what uh you know they said some brock we just talked to brock and he was saying that you know he said he, he addressed the team a little bit in the post game somebody asked forrester about it and he's like well you know he did every, he said what he what i wanted him to say he took account he was accountable he was a leader um what do you want to hear from your leaders when in in defeat? Do do they need to speak, or is it can they be silent and still lead? Personally, I know the guys in this locker room, and I don't think they really need to say anything because right. they kind of know what the deal is. Um, you know, I'm very thankful that I've been a part of some pretty good success here, playing in two NFC championships the last two years. So, you know, I I know the guys in this locker room, and I know you know what level and what standard they hold themselves to, and you know that everybody in this locker room holds themselves to. So I don't, I don't need to hear anybody really talk because I know it's just kind of inherent. But, um, you know, we got new guys in here every single year. So if they need to hear it, then that works. The vibe in the room when you win and the vibe in the room when you lose, is it is it the same? Is it different? I mean, it seems similar, but at the same time, there is kind of a, a sense of, like, seriousness, sobering determination. That's just what I sense. But you're in the room and you've played in this league for a while. So... What is the difference between a winning locker room and a losing locker room? Um, or I should say after yeah, a loss, I, mean, I suppose. Like after right one. after, like right after games. I remember after the Dallas, after the Dallas game, the locker room was a little more hype than usual, even sure. after after normal wins. But um, big win, national yeah, TV, exactly. And I think 
you know, losing the third straight at home kind of hurt quite a bit. Um, you know, kind of when we get back on a plane after like Cleveland or Minnesota or whatever, guys are kind of, you know, we're still together. We have to fly however many hours back here and it's, you know, guys can move on, but you know, I see a lot of guys watching film on the plane, like as soon as we get back uh, on the plane. So, you know, people take it hard different ways. Some people move on quickly, um, but you know, it's week by week. Yeah, last one. Um, you guys play a sport that is the most popular sport in the country, right? So there's all, tons of noise around this sport. Do you listen to it, good or bad, or do you block it out? Like when you get home, do you, you, do you, are you aware of the dialogue around the team, or do you just say, screw that, I'm blocking it out, I'm not listening yeah. to it, it's not going to help me? There's a balance. I think, I think personally, like I, I see stuff like on Reddit and whatnot, like I'm on the... 49ers subreddit and stuff. I know a couple like comment there here and there, and I see it, and it's kind of like, um, you know, I'm sure some people have had the fight with a girlfriend or a wife. It's like, you know, you hear me, but you're not listening. So you know, we can hear the noise, but it's whether or not you listen to it. So, right. You don't take it to heart. Yeah, exactly. So you know, some guys I'm sure don't look at it at all and don't even doesn't even come you know in their their wavelength or anything like that. Um, I can read it and kind of digest what I know is true and what not what what isn't true so right. um it's it's a mix with everybody yeah. does it, have you changed or is that have you always been the same like or was oh, it I've rookie looked at it no i mean because every team i was on i would like go like go on their subreddit see well because i i bounced around so much like right. i didn't it's tough to know the history of like all 32 teams like what's going on like in that moment what were the few years before you got there like so like i would join the groups and like follow like one beat reporter just to see your conduit to the whole thing yeah, yeah. kind of tend to gain info and you know i've been here for four years thankfully and you know i i know i've been a part of like the kind of the culture for a while but i just do it just because i think it's cool yeah. yeah to just keep in touch i mean yeah. keep a vibe of what's going on yeah you know have you ever seen a teammate last one i promise yeah you ever seen a teammate that what you thought was like man dude you're too affected by the outside noise no I've never seen anything really? like that. Guys no. keep it in perspective. I mean, I see other guys in the league, but yeah. um, who are like on Twitter and stuff like that. <laughs> right, right, right. The DMs, but I've never really seen it in this locker room for sure. Yeah. So, yeah. Hey, good luck Sunday, man. Thanks for the time. Appreciate it. Appreciate you, man.